Good evening, people watching Miss 65. Lisa Boyce here. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. That is the gospel where we have our faith in. That is the true gospel. That's where our faith lies. That's the foundation right there. We believe in that. And that's the only requirement for salvation is believing in the fact that he died, spilled his blood, was buried, and rose again on the third day. It is not of ourselves. It is not a gift. It is not. It is a gift. It is not of ourselves. It is not of works. At least any man should boast. Once we're saved... We will never lose our salvation. That's a promise. And God keeps his promises. Um, I want to go on. I got this article from Sean Hannity. Uh, from his uh, website. And this goes on to say that... Um, Well, we know they cheated in this thing. So it says, Michigan GOP chair says that ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans. Now, I'm going to say something. Like I said before, God is still in control of this thing. Could it uh, be that... Um, he wins this? Absolutely. Matter of fact, Biden technically cannot call a victory because this thing is still being counted. And if this goes to the Supreme Court, Amy Comey Barrett is going to have her hands full with this because this thing could go as high as the Supreme Court. Now, when it will be finished is anybody's guess. It might not be done in January. We might not have a clear winner until January. But could I see this going to the Supreme Court? Absolutely. Because this is plain and simple. Voter fraud, if I've ever seen it. And another thing. If it comes out, which it will, that they were committing fraud, Biden is in trouble. And I think a lot of people will go to jail. And I think... If Trump is reelected this time, he's going to clean house for real. And I do mean he's going to clean house. This is serious. This is nothing but um, an act of Satan. That's what it is. And I'm going to tell you all something. I'm going to tell you to pray for him. Because what I saw today and what I looked up... George Soros is behind this whole thing. When I saw, I saw a, um, I saw the Watchman, not the Watchman uh, 88, but the Watchman. He has news sources too on his videos. And when CBN, he showed a clip of CBN and talking about George Soros. This whole thing, he's behind. This whole entire thing, he's behind. I would look at him, I'm just saying, because he's funded everybody from Camilla to Antifa to Black Lives Matter to Joe Biden, the whole Democratic Party, he's funded. And the prosecutors and the uh, judges. That's who I would look at. But anyway, this um, article goes on to say that members of the Republican Party in Michigan held a press conference today on the state of the race for the White House, saying thousands of ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans. If all this wasn't enough, ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans. Excuse me causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. The county clerk came forward and said a glitch caused a miscalculation of the votes. 
47 counties use the same software in the same capacity, said the Michigan GOP uh, chair. The people of Michigan deserve a transparent and open process. So, I'm going to link this article in the description box. It says here that um, they're still looking into this. And it's got, a, it's got some uh, other articles underneath this, but they're still looking into this. But I'm going to tell you something. When this comes out, if it comes out, because don't forget, there's a lot of Republicans that don't like him either. There's a lot of Republicans that call themselves, they're rhinos, Republican in name only. So they're working along, right along with the Democrats to keep him out. So uh, when this thing comes out, it's going to be some, some people are going to be in a lot of trouble because this is outrageously illegal. It's going to come out soon. And like I said, when it does, we'll be watching for it. But the thing that we have to do is just keep praying for him because this man, and I saw this today, this man is dealing, he's not dealing with uh, people. He's definitely dealing with demons. He's dealing with the demonic. Trump. It is a matter of uh, of Satan himself. That's who he's dealing with. Where he got his spiritual team is from, I don't know, because Paula White went off the deep end about some stuff. You know, it's pathetic. It really is. He needs real people, true Christians, to pray for him right now because he is dealing with something when I saw that something clicked in me and said this man is definitely dealing with some demonic stuff why because of what he did to Israel he moved the embassy to Jerusalem no other president has done for Israel what he's done And people will say, well, January 28th, he vowed with Netanyahu to split the land. That's right. Because he was fulfilling prophecy. And he didn't know it. Was that a bad move? Absolutely. But they thought they were doing the right thing. No other president has been used of God the way this man has. And right now, he's truly in Satan's court right now. He's dealing with the demonic. And when I saw what I saw in George Soros and in the rest of these, because the Democrats are in his back pocket, George Soros, they're in his pocket. The far, far left are the ones that's keeping Trump, right where they want him. Biden cannot uh, call this election. He cannot call this election as long as there is a court battle going on about the election votes. He can't do that. As much as he wants to, he can't. I will be back. Um, later, I'm going to link this article. Like I said, this is Sean Hannity's site, and he's got several other uh, articles underneath this one. But this is an ongoing battle, and how long it's going to go on is anybody's guess. But there are rumblings uh, from Russia and Iran and other places that are hoping for a Biden victory, of course. Or, I keep saying Biden that are hoping for a Marxist-Harris victory. And you know that's what's going to happen. Now, this is what I wanted to say, too. 
I was sitting down watching uh, TV and it dropped in my spirit. I was thinking about this. I'm like, Harris would be, Harris is a Marxist. And it dropped in my spirit. That's not happening. Those were the words. Now, I don't know whether, you know, I'm like, Lord, is that you saying that or what? But that was what I heard in my spirit. That's not happening. I don't know what to say about it, but Trump still has a chance because he's going to fight this tooth and nail. He still has a chance, but the man is fighting the demonic for real, big time, him and his administration. So I would just suggest you keep praying for him. I hope he comes out ahead, but you know, it's still God's will and God is still in control over the whole thing. That's who we look to. We don't look to man. We look to God. Um, I know people have prophesied and saying, well, he's going to get a second victory. We, I hope he does, but I still look to God. Because either way it goes, God is in control. And as long as, and I had said this a few months ago. And I don't know, I had said, and this change just came to my mind just now. As long as the church is here, Trump will be president. So, it's a lot to think about. But just keep your eyes focused on the Lord. And just keep praying for this man and praying for God's God to move and do something. But I... I still feel that something big is going to happen. This election wasn't, was just the beginning. Put it like that. I'll be back later. Thank you.